Hey guys, welcome back to my channel in my tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to change your data source from Excel to SQL or any other source for that matter. For example, I have already imported a data set from my Excel file into my Power BI. So if I go to file options and settings, data source settings, I get to see the data source that I have over here, which is connected to an Excel file represented as .xlsx format over here. And if I want to change the Excel file, let's say that I have decided to use SQL Server instead of Excel and I have a lot of calculations that I have done and I don't want to recreate the same thing again in SQL if I change the source to SQL, right? So Power BI does not really give you an option to select something from here. For example, there is change source option over here, but it does not let you select a different source. You can only select from an access database or a CSV or a text file, etc. You don't really have SQL. So Basically, from Excel, you cannot change your data source to SQL. So I'm going to teach you how to achieve that in a bit over here. So let's get started with this tutorial. The first thing that we will do over here is let's get into the Power Query editor over here. So you will see something like this. Now, uh, this is a sample Excel file which I have imported into the data set. I have not had any sort of transformations or anything on this. So let's add a couple of steps to make this a little complicated. So order priority, you might have done this in your Excel file. It wouldn't really be uh, not have any steps as such your Excel file might have some steps which you have applied. So I want to teach you that as well. So I'm going to add or make some changes to the data set that I have over here. Values to find H. Let's say I want to replace this with I. So that I'm adding a step over here. And, and then I'm going to do replace values again. And then let's say to L. Uh, L is going to be low. And then click on OK. And then um, Let's say I want to change some values over here as well. Uh, let's say instead of online, I want this to be offline. Okay, I'm going to click on OK. So now that we've added few steps over here and if we go to click on advanced editor over here, you will see a code something like this. Now imagine if I had not done these changes, you would see only the code only till here, right? So this is the new code that we have added. So to make it a little complicated because this is how your Excel sheet is going to look like as well okay so once you, we have done this we've now had this now let's go back over here uh, and connect to our sql data source so let's click on new source click on sql server so i'm going to paste my sql server over here this is where my new data resides in the sql server and then it's going to be import mode and then i'm going to click on ok and then once in this particular dialog box over here select the table that you want to import in my case it is sales table and then i'm going to click on ok over here so just import this so that we have a new table that is created and it's easier for us to copy the code from the table that we've created now to the excel for file excel uh, source right so let's go back to advanced editor so this is the new table that i created let me just rename this and call this as sales uh, sql and then let's rename this as well to and call this as uh, sales uh, excel so that it's easier for you to understand okay so this is my excel source and this is my sql source okay let's go to the sql source now click on advanced editor and this is the three line code that i have where i'm extracting the data from my sql server under the power bi tutorials uh, database and this is my table over here so i'm going to copy these three lines of code over here and then click on cancel go back to your excel data source and click on advanced editor so once you have done that all you can all you have to do is identify till the change type over here and remove all these four columns click on delete and paste the new values that we have just copied and align this here and then add a little comma over here so that it is continuous okay so and then you can it's saying that there are no syntax error detected and then you, you might think that you can click on done but obviously it will throw us an error because we have not made any changes to the uh, DAX that is there after this, okay? So what is it that you need to change here? You might have a lot of steps uh, over here. You will have to make some change over here. So one is you will have to uh, add the uh, name over here, which is for example, I have DBO underscore sales. I will have to change the value over here from change type to dbo.sales. I'm going to remove everything over here and put in dbo.sales over here. Likewise, I have replace value over here. I'm going to copy the replace value and paste it over here. 
okay and then I have replace value 1 which is exactly same over here and then the last is in replace value 2 it's exactly the same I don't need to make any changes over here but just make sure that whatever the value that you have or the previous uh, row over here copy this value and paste it over here okay once this is done you can click on done and now you will see that everything has been executed successfully and you are seeing the data right now and now let's get rid of the sales sql table i'm going to delete this particular table because i don't need it anymore and then i'm going to click on close and apply so let's go back and see what happens now and now uh, we've created a new connection let's go back to file options and settings data source settings now you will see that we have now connected to a sql server which is pc uh, SQL servers power bi tutorials right so we've successfully changed the data source from excel to a sql server so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope you found this helpful please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials